Hello everyone, welcome back to another create video. In today's episode, I want to get into more create since we've only got this little bit. And I actually want to make more machines, try to do some more automation. And I think I also want to start getting uh, into Tinker's Construct. So I'm probably gonna make like a small smell tree if that's possible. If I don't make it, uh, it's gonna be next episode. Um, but I did some work up here. I flattened this area a bit because if I want to get into more create, I'm going to have to have a bigger area, of course. And this was already pretty flat and I didn't want to flatten this entire area. It's going to take a long time. So I just didn't feel like it. I think what I might do right now is make uh, a nice looking staircase up there or up to there. I mean, so I can get easy access up here. So before I forget, uh, I looted the the rest of the lighthouse. There were there were a lot of crates over there that I mean they were just begging to be looted. So I got some stuff. I got a lot of dried kelp blocks and where's the dried kelp? It's right here. And if I remember correctly, I'm gonna need dried kelp for the belts later on. So this this was a very nice find. I also made two copper chests. Uh, well, I, I made one and then I got one from this achievement. And it's very nice because it's just like two extra rows for only like eight copper. And from another thing, I got this iron chest, which is even better. So now I just have a lot of storage. And yeah, that's very nice. Another thing I learned was that I can use the wrench to pick up create items. So I don't actually have to break this. I think I just shift right click. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be carrying my wrench always now because that's just way easier to pick up, create stuff. All right. I think this looks pretty nice. I did some work and I made like the floor blend in a bit with the, with the grass. I also did it up here, but I think I'm going to plan on making like the entire floor here uh stony and with andesite and just mix like that because i think that will look better but yeah for now i'll just keep it as grass i also have two names for these little guys and the white one gray one i i don't know which one it is but this one is going to be called filbert and this one is going to be called peanut and i if i have the colors i'm going to give them different colored colors you will be blue can you see yeah you will be blue once i have something pink you will be pink all right yeah okay so one of the first things i want to do with the create with create is make an automatic drilling thing because it's just infinite cobblestone and it's basically free so why not you know actually i think i might move this entire thing up to the second floor yeah, I want to have all my create stuff over there. So <laughs> let me just move this entire thing that I just made last episode. <laughs> okay, I set everything up again up here. And I made this uh, see through both ways now so that it looks a bit better. Uh, I also moved this around a bit. I honestly forgot how, how I did it down there. So I just did something else, but it still works. Oh, hey. I need to light up this area. <laughs> I want to get some more machines set up because I know I can get an infinite cobblestone generator and a millstone set up, which is basically just something that can grind cobblestone and other things to get new resources. Let's make the mechanical drill first. And that is very easy to make. Let me get some iron plates. And it's like alloy and a casing. Now we have a mechanical drill. And I also need a double compressed andesite. What this uh, double compressed andesite will do is give me a one in six chance of spawning an andesite instead of a cobblestone when I when the mechanical drills uh, like drills the thingy. So that's really nice. Uh, all I need right now is a lava bucket, so let me get that real quick. So I've got all the components now, but I 
Oh, I don't really know where to put it. Um, I didn't put this in a good location. I, uh, I might move this again some other time. Not right now, though. Okay, I've, uh, I've got a plan. I'm gonna steal one of these water wheels. It's gonna... No, you know what? I'm not gonna steal. I'm not gonna steal. I'm gonna make a new one. I'm gonna make some more water wheels. Right now, I don't think having one big power source, source is the best move. It's probably good to have multiple tiny ones. Uh, let's make some more water wheels. And then what I can do with those is make like a sideways one. I think I'm gonna put the drill over here. I just realized I'm missing something. I'm gonna need a hopper minecart for what I want to do. Okay, let's make like some rails. Do I have any? I have two rails. Okay, so one easy way to collect items from this machine is to use a hopper minecart inside of the andesite and then place a hopper underneath. Well, I should probably place the hopper underneath first. I'm gonna use a copper chest for the collection. So let's do that. Use a hopper. Uh, can I place a rail on that? I cannot. Let's grab it real quick. I do not have the right tool. So for now, I'll just place a dirt, place the rail and grab the minecart. push it in like that. And I just need to place this here and it will collect everything that it drops. Nice. Let's just uh, make some stairs real quick to encase it so it doesn't fall out. And I'm gonna need some stairs either way. Now onto the cobblestone generator itself and that will be really easy. Uh, why can I not place a block here? Thank you. Uh, what you have to do is place a stair like this for that's where the water is going to go and then just encase this for the lava uh, i'm just going to encase this too so the water doesn't fall out i can remove this and the water is going to go here and i put it in the stair so that it's not gonna like overflow put the lava over here and it should create cobblestone yeah so now all i have to do is install a water wheel uh below here and it's gonna be really easy i'm just gonna place one water wheel right here i grab some shafts and put a gearbox right here a vertical one and then it should begin to drill yeah and that does it automatically one thing i do want to do though is grab this and probably move the water wheel uh, because I need to have a gear ratio not like the ratio on Twitter so to gear ratio you have to basically use big gears and tiny gears to make it spin faster and the easiest way to do this is to just uh, do it like this have a gear a small gear here big gear here and then put the water wheel underneath the big gear like that and with these gears uh, basically it will just spin faster now without having to do anything so that's really neat and I can just place the water back and now it spins faster so let's cover this up and to make it even more hidden I can use an anisite casing on this and also on here and now it just looks very good and this will just keep mining automatically forever. I don't have to do anything. You might be wondering to yourself, what are you gonna do with all this cobblestone and andesite? My answer to that is mm, not this, uh, it's the, here it is, the millstone. Yes, I want to make this. A millstone is really easy to craft just like everything else. And I'm gonna put that right here. I'm actually going to move it one up because I need uh, a hopper underneath it to collect the items. Okay, so I put a copper chest right here. I put a hopper here. And the, where is it? The millstone on top of here. Then a chute into the millstone. 
and lastly a chest on top of that what this will do is I take some cobblestone from here I put it in here and right now it doesn't work obviously but it will crush down the cobblestone into gravel and it can also crush down other materials into other useful stuff so how this works is just like the mixer you have to place a cog wheel right here and I think I might gear ratio up here it's not the nicest looking thing but it's just easy I don't really care about looks right now and this will spin this let's put an outside casing on here so it looks a bit nicer and now if I take some cobblestone let's take a stack it will slowly but surely turn all that cobblestone into gravel. Yeah, here it is. So now we have infinite cobblestone and andesite. We have infinite gravel. And if I take that gravel again and put it in here, we will get sand. And that's the furthest that I've researched with the millstone. So I don't know what else it can do, but I know it can do a lot more. And it's just very nice to have. So let's collect these rewards, some diorite and cogwheel. Oh yeah, uh, I remember now I can use diorite as well to get quartz. And the, yeah, it's, it's just very cool. Some other stuff that may be useful is the encased fan and the rolling mill. The rolling mill is used to make rods. And the encased fan is used to blow stuff away. It's used to wash stuff or to smelt stuff. Uh, but right now, I don't think I really need that. Since I'm going to be getting into Tinker's Construct next, and that uses smeltery, I don't think I really have to get into this kind of smelting yet. Maybe later on, uh, but we'll see. We're going to be putting away the create stuff for now because I want to get into Tinker's Construct. So let's smell all, the, all of this grout. That grout will turn into seared bricks. And with those seared bricks, I can start the smeltery. Oh, I just looked at the recipe and to make seared bricks, I actually need sap. Uh, that's not how you normally make it. But luckily I planted some rubber trees over here. It's only two, so let's hope they have some rubber spots. I'm gonna have to make a tap real quick. They break really easily, so I'm probably gonna make multiple. It's just a bit of wood and a stick. Let's make two for now. And if these have any rubber spot, like right here, I can click it and then I get a sap. I don't know if these regrow on the trees, but I might just chop them down for now so I get so I can get some more saplings. And also, I think I can throw these. Yeah, I can throw the logs into the milling machine to get even more sap. So I think that is worth it. I'll probably do that with all the logs I have and use the saplings to get some more sap. So let's take out all this cobblestone right now. Other in there, nope. And let's put in the rubber logs. It should turn all of that into sap. I don't know if I need and if I need those logs for anything else. Uh, we'll see later on. I've got eight sap right now. That will probably be enough. All right, let's grab some more seared bricks. They're almost done. And I need a seared melter and a seared heater. That's very easy to make. Let's do that. A seared heater is just eight of these and a seared melter is a fluid tank zinc 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 okay and this is just copper so i make the fluid tank first and after that i can just craft this no i cannot i need to mix things first okay well let's grab all of the sap oh that's a lot of sap <laughs> so what i'm gonna do is not put that on there i need to throw in like eight and two it's it, the crafting recipe is one and four four seared bricks and one sap but i think i can also use multiples of that so i throw that in and throw that in let's hope it works it does okay um so let's make like four more for now and with that i can make the seared melter while that's doing its thing let's also make uh, all of the things i need it's a faucet um, I need a casting bin and a casting plate or table. Yep. And uh, is there a smeltery controller? There is a smeltery controller. It is disabled. Never mind. Okay. So I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna stick to a small, uh, Tinker's construct for now. So what I do is get this seared melter and let's place that right here for now the melter there this here we put the tap in front 
then whatever we want here and i think that should be enough i think i need a lot i think it needs lava okay i need a tinker's anvil i can use bronze for the tinker's anvil and i think i will do that because it's really easy to make it just copper and tin and i do have enough barely though i'm definitely gonna have to go mining again soon i think i'm gonna move my tinker station a bit closer i can put it in the place where my last thing was I think I'm also going to move all my Tinker's stuff over here. It's just going to be easier to access. Now we have a Tinker's Anvil. Nice. And with this Anvil, you can create a lot more tools. These are just like bigger tools. Uh, for example, this excavator can mine a 3 by 3 area of dirt. This vein hammer can sort of vein mine ores and other type of connected blocks. The sledgehammer uh is a three by three mining tool broad axe brings down an entire tree and the scythe is for mowing down plants apparently uh i don't think i need any of these right now but i just want to see how this works because i want to get some uh, basic ingot casts now that we have some gold in here i can use this ingot and let this sit for a while and now we should have a uh, reusable ingot cast. I think I also want to do this with a nugget. Make a nugget cast. And the really nice thing about this Tinker Smeltery is that if you grab raw ore, you can put it in here. And if you put in three at a time, uh, it will give you four ingots instead of three. So basically for every raw iron you have, you get one and one third iron. And I can just cast it out. But yeah, this is really nice. It just duplicates ores, but now it doesn't duplicate it. It just gives you more ores than you would usually get. I almost forgot to craft some really important casts. Like for example, I need to actually make a pickaxe head cast. Just make, make one like this first. Then I can put it on here. But yeah, let's put it on onto this. It will remove the stone pickaxe head, but that's fine. It's only stone. So now I can do that. Let's see how much it costs to make it. It's two. So let's put two iron in there. So now we have an iron pickaxe head. And now with this Tinker's Anvil, I think we should be able to upgrade this. It becomes iron. And let's see, can I still repair it with stone? Repair it? I cannot. That is unfortunate. But we basically have a repairable iron pickaxe now. And if I get redstone, I can give it other multipliers, other buffs. If I use redstone on it, it will give me haste. If I use lapis, it will give me uh, fortune, I think. So this is just very nice to have. One thing I definitely want is this sledgehammer. Okay, so I make a tough tool rod. The hammer head needs to be from stone for now, and then two large plates. Now let's pour it into the hammer head. It's gonna take a lot of iron but it should give us an iron hammerhead. Yeah, and if we put that together, we get an ironstone sledgehammer. Anyways, I want to test this out because I don't, I, I genuinely don't know how fast it is or if it's any good. So let's do it right here. As you can see, it mines in the three by three area and this is actually not too bad. I mean, it's very slow, but I think mining out all the nine blocks with a normal pickaxe takes longer. And this can also be repaired with cobblestone. I think I also want to make a rolling mill. Uh, it's not too difficult to craft and it will be useful later on. In the early game right now, I, it will not be very useful. But I just want to make sure I have everything crafted already just in case I'm going to need it. I'm going to put the rolling mill right here for now. Just have it like that and it works. Now what I can do is throw these iron ingots on top of it and it will crush it into an iron rod. I might not have a lot of use for these rods right now, but they will definitely be useful uh, in the future. So I'm just glad I crafted the rolling mill uh, first. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. It's only a press of a button and it helps out a lot. Anyways, goodbye.